This is Philip Beck and today we are going to look at life cycles. So what are life cycles? Life cycles are about the life of one given item. Let's say a lamp. A lamp has a number of states and it has a life cycle also because it's, there is no lamp, there is one lamp now. The lamp is active and when it's active it could be on or off but could be broken. So to depict this we can use what is called a state chart or a sequence, uh, a, uh, a state transition diagram. To indicate that there is no lamp we just use this black dot. Then we can have a transition from one black dot to one state. I would say in good shape and when the lamp is in good shape it could either be on or off so I could have here on or I could have another state which would be off and also no matter what on or off if something bad happened to the lamp, the lamp can be said as being broken. And we have a transition from whatever state here we are in to broken. And then we can dispose of the lamp. So we have the final state where there is no lamp anymore. So when we are on and off, here we can switch between the two. So if power is flowing, we get on. If there is no power, we go to off. So one concept can have one life cycle like this and we depict it using a state transition diagram, also called a state machine. Okay, for the lamp it's a bit silly, but we can have other concepts having life cycles. Think about a project. A project can have multiple states. It can also have a risk. We can also have an opportunity. It also have a complete system. And for example here, if we look at the risk, okay, there is no risk, but then the risk becomes identified and then the risk, if you do something about it, could be assessed, then it could be mitigated. and then maybe under control. So you see that important concepts in your domain can be nicely documented through uh, state charts. Um, you can also say, oh, the current state of my particular risk here is this. So that was it for today about life cycles. This was Philip Beck and thank you for watching.